Thanks to your recommendations, I finally found a camera backpack that I'm happy with. It's this one. Let's get undone. Gerald Undone. He's crazy. What's happening, everybody? I'm Gerald Undone, and I love it when you call me Big Papa. So I've been on the hunt for a good camera backpack for a while now. And when I say camera backpack, I mean a camera bag that also has a backpack component that you can use for other types of storage, not just a camera bag that you can wear on your back. For instance, I've got the Think Tank Street Walkers in like three different sizes, and they're great and I love them, but the majority of their storage is dedicated to camera gear, and I was looking for something that would be half camera gear, half overnight bag, or half clothes or something. And back in April, I thought maybe that I'd found that solution with that brevity bag that I made my pre-NAB What's In My Bag video about. But unfortunately, it didn't really work out for me for several reasons that I discussed in that video. And on that video, many of you recommended that I look at Tenba bags based on the issues that I had with the Brevity Scout. And so I did. And one of the most recommended models was this DNA 15 backpack that I've been using for the last little while and I'm really happy with it. And this video is not sponsored by the way, I sought this bag out solely based on your recommendations. And what great recommendations they were, because first of all, it perfectly solves that half and half storage thing that I wanted, with a divider separating a camera component and a component that you can use for whatever else you want. By default, this bottom portion can be unzipped and then it basically leans forward almost like a drawer which will allow you quick and easy access to your camera gear. You can comfortably fit a mirrorless body and a couple lenses or two small bodies and lenses or one larger body, two lenses and some minor accessories. And they provide an abundance of those Velcro padded dividers that you can customize the storage however you want and it's even tall enough to store a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Which leaves the top portion for your other stuff which can be more gear, food, clothes, shoes, whatever. And it's got this really sweet magnetic clip which basically does itself back up when the pieces are dangling close enough together. There's plenty of storage in the top portion for an overnight trip, and because it's the roll top, you can fill it much higher than you would be able to with a zippered alternative. That being said, I'm not typically a big fan of roll tops usually because I find zippers to be faster and less bulky, but because this bag nails all of the other functional aspects, I'm willing to ignore my policy on roll tops for it. But that brings me to my question for you guys. Which do you prefer, zippers or roll tops, and why? Let me know in the comments below. Tenba does make this bag in a messenger style though for those that don't like roll tops or backpacks, which I tested for a short while and seems pretty much identical from a quality standpoint. Another cool thing though is that the sections can actually be reversed, so maybe you didn't want to have your camera gear in the bottom or you were worried that thieves were going to open up that pouch and slide it forward and take all your camera gear out there. You can actually remove the entire camera gear sleeve from the bottom portion and it fits perfectly in the top portion so then you can reverse it and store your other stuff in the bottom and your camera gear rolled up and top. And what's great is it doesn't topple over when you do this like a lot of other camera bags would, including that Brevity Scout, which is a problem that I had with it. Seemingly this bag will stand on its own regardless of the configuration, which is something that I really appreciate. And the ability to remove that camera portion means that you can completely repurpose this bag into just a regular old backpack when you don't need to carry your own camera gear, adding to the value of this bag because now it can fulfill a different purpose. However, this customization and expandable storage capabilities does come at an inconvenience if you plan on using this bag as your personal item on a plane. You have to be mindful of how full you pack it and how you position the items. It can fit under a plane seat as a personal item on a flight, but only if you don't fill it up too much. Which again plays back into my issue of roll tops versus the more restrictive zipper structures, which at least with a zipper you know what the maximum dimension of the bag is going to be and so you can always be confident whether or not it's going to fit underneath a plane seat regardless of how much stuff you put in it. That's not the case with a roll top. It does have one simple feature that I love for traveling though, which is this Velcro band on the back here that allows you to secure it to the handle of your luggage for easier transportation through an airport. This is a much appreciated inclusion. There's also a gap behind the back support that allows you to remove the waist strap. As you can see here, I don't have the waist strap attached. And this is great in another area where Tenba gets bonus points. I always appreciate it when a bag allows you to remove the waist strap because otherwise it's dangling down when you don't need it and I don't often use it. But Tenba really nails the customization here. Including these flexible and easily twisting spacers between the shoulder straps and the main part of the bag, allowing to fit more comfortably on a range of shoulder sizes. Most bags are a lot more rigid with their attachments there, which can put pressure on your traps, but the Tenba is very comfortable thanks to those, as well as these excellent breathable pads and well-placed supports. It's probably the most comfortable camera bag I've ever used. The build quality is top notch with the fasteners being thick and solid and many of them metal and the zippers are all YKK with these easy grip tabs. And the bottom pouch has lockable zippers to help alleviate some of that theft risk that I mentioned earlier. There's additional storage in the front with this smaller pocket and then an organizer behind that which contains multiple little pockets and a zippered portion. And in the main top compartment there's three smaller side pockets and a padded sleeve that can hold a 15 inch laptop. 
The side pockets include one stretchy mesh pouch, which is ideal for a water bottle, and the other one features a more robust liner, ideal for a tripod without fear of damaging the bag. But the fabric chosen for this bag as a whole is very resilient, while still remaining attractive in my opinion. This graphite pattern is water and abrasion resistant, and the zippers are covered as well. But if you find yourself in absolutely terrible weather, it does come with an additional weather wrap that's two-sided, the typical black side, but also reflective side to keep the sun off. Anyway, that's all I can really think to say about this bag, and at $199, it's definitely my top choice for a bag in its price range. I generally expect bags of this caliber to cost a lot more, and I'm really pleased with Tenba's pricing. I wish it was a little bit smaller, and I would have been curious to try a zippered alternative while still remaining a backpack because yes I have tried the messenger bag which is a zippered top but that's a whole nother animal and not a backpack. So I'd say if it was about 5-10% to more compact with a zippered top half to keep it in spec with a personal item on a plane regardless of how full it is, it'd be the perfect bag. But I'm sure there's a lot of people that prefer the roll top and regardless of that I'm still very happy to use it and recommend it with an easy 9.5 self-locking magnetic buckles out of 10. But that's going to be it for me. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, make sure you leave it the old thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. But if you did not find this video helpful or entertaining, feel free to hit the dislike button twice. Alright, I'm done. <laughs>